RC with Adam is brought to you in part by these super awesome people. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and as you see before me, we have the FSI 6, FSI 6X, and FSI 6S, all FlySky radios. And what I want to tell you today in this video is that the FSI 6X, previously I have said that you needed the FlySky SM100 USB dongle adapter thing right here in order for you to set it up with a, a simulator on your computer. Now, it appears that you do not need the SM100 for the i6X. Uh, you can, in fact, just use the data cable that FlySky provides with the radio, or at least it should. I, I don't know if everybody has gotten one of these with the radio, but usually it comes with a data cable for updating the firmware on the radio. But um, now, that I have updated this firmware, and we're going to talk about that, um, you should be able to just use the data cable to connect to a simulator, which is cool because that means you won't need to buy one of these if you're using the i6X. If you are using the i6 radio, you will still need the SM100 adapter cable. If you're using the i6X, you can just use, uh, with the latest firmware, you can just use the data cable. And if you're using the i6S, then you can just use a regular uh, USB to micro USB cable. Of course, one that can actually transfer data, so not just for charging. So that's that's the long and short of it. Now listen, if you have a different experience or if yours works with one of these cables and not with another, please let us know, leave us a comment because it seems like uh, a lot of this is like hit and miss. It's kind of weird. Um, but let's go through the firmware of what I have on here. I think all of these are up to date currently, uh, but let me just show you the firmware on each of these so that way you'll have a reference point for what works with what firmware and which model and all that stuff. So on the i6, I'm actually running the modified firmware. So this is like the, the Fly Plus upgrade. So this is to upgrade this to a, a Chen channel radio, but it also says, I'm not sure why, but it says original firmware, the 25th of no, 1.1, 25th of November, 2014. And then the modified firmware, Fly Plus Beta. So maybe that's what the modified firmware is based on. I'm not totally sure, but this is this. I have a, a video of how to upgrade this radio. So that's the firmware that I have on the i6. So now we have the i6X and we have version 1.0, 20th of September, 2019, hardware version 1.0 as well. So that is that seems to be the latest that I could find. And I updated this one. I actually had a little problem updating it and it kind of bricked it, but then I found a video to figure out how to unbrick it. So that was confusing. So if you have problems with bricked radios, leave a comment and maybe I can make a video about that or just direct you to that video that I found. In any case, that it, this is the firmware that I have. So I, I had an older version of firmware. I upgraded to this version, 1.0, 20th of September, 2019. And now for some reason, I'm able to use the, the data cable that comes with the transmitter. And previously I had not been able to do that um, when I'm trying to connect this to the computer to use it on a simulator. So that's just kind of strange, but I just want to let you guys know about that. Let's move on to the i6S. We have version uh, 2.0, the 4th of April, 2020, hardware version 3.0. And this is the latest firmware for this one. Uh, nothing has really changed about this one so much, but I just want to show you this as a reference. Again, for this one, you just use the USB port on the bottom, and you can just connect it using a pretty standard USB to micro USB cable. And just to be thorough, we are talking about the uh, the port in the back. This is where you connect your your data cable. So you line up the the little peg goes like at the top of this little this little hole and this don't mind this this is just a little battery modification that I did but so you just plug that in or does it go in the bottom it goes in there some oh yeah like that okay there we go so you just plug that in line it up plug it in and then you plug this end into a USB port and then you should be good to go using this on your computer for a simulator just using the 
data cable. But if this doesn't work for you, please let us know so that we can kind of try and figure out what's going on with this. Because I know you guys have questions about the simulator stuff, hooking it up, and uh, I try to try to figure out that as much as I can about that for you guys. But it is kind of sometimes it's just hit hit and miss. It's kind of weird, and it might be your computer and different things like that. So anyway, if you have questions or helpful comments about that, leave them down below. In any case, thanks for watching everybody and I will see you again very soon. Also, be sure to check the description below for links to where you can update these radios and also like the FlySky manuals and stuff. I put them in I think every single video. I have a little section for links to reference material and where you can find the uh, firmware updates for all of these radios. So check the description below for that. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, consider subscribing to this channel. And um, no, that's really all I got. So, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.